All right, today we're going to take a look at the Live Watches. This is the Rebel. Um, I'm not familiar exactly with their whole lineup. They have a, quite a few different watches to choose from. And more importantly, in each line, especially like in this Rebel one, you can get it in a chronograph or you can get it in this you know, standard one with the Salida SW200 Swiss Automatic Movement in it. And it kind of looks like those are chronograph pushers over there, but they're not. Those are the crown guards. Um, I like the simplicity of this design personally over the chronograph, but it still is cool in that. Uh, but just a unique design. Um, I like it uh, for a few different reasons. One, obviously, we have some really nice inlays of orange that pop out. And then the, uh, the company logo, the seconds hand, and then this nice uh, silver grayish kind of dial with the white and the black. And then the bracelet and the watch had actually our... I believe they're IP coated because they kind of look like a almost like a dark titanium, but it's stainless steel. So pretty cool look to it. The dial has a lot of depth. If you can, I find myself focusing actually on that curved sapphire crystal. That's, I mean, it does some crazy stuff. You can see here. It's just, it's fun to play around with some watches that are, you know, not the norm. We're so used to all these divers and all the name brand stuff. So it's nice to uh, check out some of the other things that are happening out there in the watch world. You know, don't be so close-minded to dismiss, you know, some of these um, other designers, other uh, watches that are out there. Because there's some pretty cool designs and, you know, if one speaks to you, it speaks to you. Um, and that's kind of how I stumbled across talking to these guys a little bit just because I liked um, some of the stuff I was looking at. So you have like the sandwich dial almost for the 12 indice. Then you have the applied indices for the rest of the hour marks. And then you have uh, the center part is almost like a submerged down in a little bit. You have the applied company live orange logo up top there. You have a framed date window. So the dial is is pretty weird because it seems simple, but when you really look at it, there's some depth there and there's a lot of different design features happening. So it's pretty cool if you look at the case back. You have a nice display case, case back with a sapphire on the back as well. And then they have their logo on there. Sorry about the fingerprints. Let's see if you can... And they have some... Uh, stuff on the rotor too so pretty cool they you know little attention a little attention to detail everywhere you look almost so you get the live um rebel swiss made sapphire crystal 100 meter water resist limited edition this is number 157 of 750 that's always nice when when a company is going to do a limited edition number it that makes you know it doesn't make it any less or more limited but from the buyer standpoint of view, at least for me, it's nice to know that, you know, that's actually numbered and everything like that. You can see you have some screwed links, and then you have some of those are non-adjustable. When you get into the adjustable ones, you have the screwed links. Let me zoom back out. You have a nice milled clasp, and the, this part is a stamped, but you have the four micro adjust. Very simple, very nicely done. Um, that's not laser etch. That's actually, uh, you know, dug out of there a little bit. So that's not going to like scratch and wear off. That's actually really on there. So that's nicely done too. Uh, let's see. I covered the movement. Um, I looked on their website. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not sure what discounts they have. I'm sure they, if you look around, I'm sure you could probably get at least 10% off. I'll check with them if there's a discount that can be had um, through my channel. I'll put that in the description as well. I believe the uh, price on their website is $690 on this guy. It is a push-pull crown. It is not a screw-down crown on this guy. So you got, um, there's your date change. You know, if you go in all the way, which is a very small push, you have nice winding. And then, of course, you have the hack and time adjust. But you got to make sure you push that in to get that 100-meter uh, water resist. I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. I didn't size it, but, um, and again, this is, uh, 
you know, I have about a seven and an eighth, seven and a quarter wrist right now, summertime. Um, and, you know, you guys know this, but when you do pictures and video and stuff like that, watches always look bigger. Um, that does have anti-reflective coating on the crystal, too. Um, so, the measurements on this, I guess I didn't cover that, but I didn't write it down either. So, let's get my caliper and I'll show you. So, um, lug to lug, if you, you know, because this doesn't really have traditional lugs, you're looking at like 48.7. The uh, thickness, I think, comes in at around just over 14. So, you know, it's a pretty substantial watch. Now, the thickness, it depends on how you measure it. If you do it minus like the um, crown guards, it's only like 40 millimeter. If you add the crown guards in there, you're at like 43. It has a 22 millimeter lug width, and I think that's about all you guys will need. So, um, you know, for proportion wise, you know, here it is next to a G Shock square. So, you know, once you add in the lugs of the square, it's pretty much the same size. It's a big, chunky watch. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it, it wears really good. It has BGW9 loom. So, let's shut the uh, lights off and see. It didn't charge us or anything, so whatever the studio lights gave it, that's what we're going to see. So you can see it's got um, a little bit of loom there. It's not a loom monster at all. You can see it's a little bit brighter on the hands than it is the indices. It would have been nice to see that 12. They should have lit that guy up too. Um, that would have been nice. So, But nonetheless, uh, I think it's a pretty cool watch. Um, another thing, when they sent it to me, it came in this case, which I thought was super cool because as soon as I, I'm like, man, you know, over killing it with the packaging and everything like that. But then I opened it up and I'm like, orange, of course, uh, is awesome. But this is, a, this would be a really sweet travel case. Um, I'm going to research on their website real quick too. And if you can buy these separately, I'm going to put it in the description. I'm not sure if you can, but. So you have the four pieces there, and then you have um, strap slots up there. So this is this would be a really sweet like travel case. Um, I know a lot of guys will just use roll pouches and stuff like that. I would personally would rather have something like that in my luggage when I'm traveling. That, that just is way nicer and it's way more substantial. I really like that. So, and it comes with a bunch of um, you know literature and stuff like that. I'm not going to cover that, but anyway, guys, that's the video for today, and I will check you tomorrow.